for this video, we are going to be talking about creating an assessment and smart response using the create answer key function. Uh, this is something I'm finding not everybody knows about, and it's real nice and easy way to create a template um, if you constantly are using roughly the same number of questions. But it's also a great tool if, say, you've got that hard copy version of your assessment that the students don't need to see the question. So this is more if you're still using response, uh, you know, with the clickers, not necessarily uh, VE, because VE you can see the questions, so the kids would need it. But um, in this case, like I said, this is a great way to build an assessment when the students don't need to see the question on Smart Notebook. The first step that we are going to do is we're going to go up top here to the response button at the top of the page of the drop down menu. And the third option down is create answer key. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. When this comes up, you do need to have a title. So in this case, we're going to create a title for this assessment and we will just call it blank assessment. You do need to create or select your type. So is it an assessment, quiz, exam, test? In this case, I'll just leave it as quiz. And what you're going to do from here, for the most part, we can do tags in here, but we're going to worry about doing tagging later, and that's another video. What we're going to do is you select which question type you want. So in this case, we'll say multiple choice. You select how many options, so we'll use our standard of four. And all you do is click the answer. So we'll say the answer for number one is A. The answer for number two is B. Back to A, C, D. We'll say the next question is true or false. The answer would be true. Um, the next question would be false. And you'll notice as I'm clicking the answers, they're filling in over here to the left. So we'll go back to for question eight is multiple choice. We'll say it's A, B. And question 10 we'll leave as um, a number for a math problem. And we'll say the answer is five. Once I've done that, we click add. And once I've added all those in and I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Create button. After I hit Create, I'm going to give it a few seconds here. And what just happened is I have my title slide and all my questions. So now what you can do is go ahead and start the assessment. And if the kids have a hard copy in front of them, they can start going right on ahead. But if you did build this as a template for, say, a 10-question template, I can now go in here and type whatever I want. So I could actually say, let's go down to question 10 since that was a math problem. And I could type in here what's 1 plus 4 and that equals. So I can add to these slides if I like. But, you know, most of the time when you're going to use this create answer key, it's going to be in the vein that um, the questions really don't matter because the students are working with the hard copy. So that's creating an assessment using the answer key.